Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we're going to be talking about how we can extract tables from image document. So we have many documents and in that document, we have many kind of uh, text documents. And in that text documents, we have many kind of paragraphs, many kind of titles, date. So many kind of entities are there in that document. So in that specific document, you could also have a table and where you want to fetch the information only from that particular table, not from other things. So I have even prepared a video from where you can extract the titles, headers, date and all other uh, paragraph information. And even you can extract the paragraphs, everything. So I have prepared a video naming extract text title uh, image paragraph from image doc documents. So you can go over my uh, YouTube channel and you can just watch over this video. And uh, this video is all about extracting the tables from it. So what we can do is it will follow the same approach what we have followed in my previous video. Uh, so we're going to be doing uh, object detection. And by using that object detection, we are going to identify where is the reason of the table in this whole document. Because we can see uh, there are many information present in the document. You can see there's a header, title, text, uh, paragraphs and everything. So even you have table. So first thing is required is where the table is present. That should be a reason of interest because we just want to extract the table information, not uh, we don't want any other information to be extracted. Right. So for that, we are just using object action model that is pre-trained on a huge data set. So we are just directly going to use uh, that pretend model and we're just going to identify the reason where the table is present. So it will just give the bonding box of that table. And after that, we're going to be using an OCR to extract the information from that particular region of interest that is from the table. So let us see how we can work on this and uh, how we can just extract this table, not, uh, not, not everything from this table, just, the, just this table, how we can extract this table from this image. So let's see how we can uh, go through this. So first of all, we need to install layout puzzle. So it will take few seconds to install. So just let us wait for a few seconds. And you can see for me, the requirement is already satisfied. And then we need to install the Datatron 2 framework because for object action, we are using Datatron 2 framework uh, at the backend of layout puzzle. So we are uh, installing that framework at the backend and the layout puzzle will be using that. So it's already uh, installed in my uh, collab environment. So uh, there's no issue for me. Uh, and I will be installing layout pass of OCR for uh, OCR uh, uh, entities or uh, dependencies to get installed and uh, layout pass will work with that as well. So once this is complete, I will initiate this uh, cell as well. Meanwhile, you can also go to the layout parser uh documentation where you will finding each and every uh, information respected to the how this uh, works how the installations are and what kinds of models are present and how you can use such kind of models for your own kind of projects so even you can find uh, the models over here so right now uh, we have these many models it has been pre-trained on so these these are the hd data data set pubelay net data set Primal layout data set and newspaper navigator data set, table blank data set. So these all data set has been trained on uh, using this object action model that is faster RCN, marks RCN. And you can use this configuration path that we'll be using in our layout parser to do it. And from here, they will, it will be downloading the, uh, the pre-trained weights and configurations for this particular pre-trained model. And then we're going to be using this pre-trained model to identify or detect where the uh, table represent in, in, in the document. So let's see what happens over there. Okay, so it's, it's getting installed. We have to wait for a few seconds. So it, it will get installed uh, quickly. Okay, I think it has installed the uh, the Datron 2 framework at the back end. We'll proceed with the installation of uh, layout parser OCR. So we'll initiate this cell and we'll keep on installing these things. 
now it, it is asking for to restart the runtime so we'll click on this and we'll restart the runtime and it will initialize the computation at the back end and we are good to go okay you so you can run this cell of this cell command to uh, git clone your uh, layout parser uh, repository over here i have already cloned it so you can find it over here and let us uh, change the directory to this uh, layout parser so let's run this cell code and from uh, from opencv2 we're going we're going to be taking the uh, table example that i have shown you just before starting this video so it is there in this layout parser example and you can find this in the data so this is the example this is a table uh, this is the document i am going to be lo loading it over from here so i'm just copying the path from here and just trying to load into the cv by using the cv2 so this is how the uh, image is being loaded and i have converted this image into rgb because cv2 accepts in the format of pgr so we are converting into the rgb format and now after that we'll use the properties of layout parser and we'll use its dependencies of all reaction to detect the uh, table content where it is present in the Im image document so for that i'm going to be importing a uh, layout parser as lp and from there i'm going to be using detectron to layout model uh, function and i'm going to be using the configurations which i mentioned uh, these configurations from over here so right now i'm using this configuration and I've copied it and pasted it over here. So I'm using these configurations and I've specified the uh, uh, threshold for this, uh, for this model to accept. So if it is beyond this 0 0.65 threshold only, uh, that the model is confident about the 0.65% uh, threshold, then it will be uh, showing up the detection. Otherwise it will ignore it. And we are able to map out these things. So once you have selected this model, so you have to map out uh, these things in in it so you can even found it find it out over here like uh, if you are using uh, data set for publay net then you have to give uh, the level map as this this as follows so similarly if you are using this agitated set model then you have to specify the level map like this so right now i'm using publay net so i'm using level map uh, for this so you have to mention it over here as well and this is for uh, identifying the uh, different entities present inside the image document. So this is for that. So once this uh, model setup is done, uh, then you can use this model and detect it on the images. So you can pass this image onto this model. So it will print out the results and what it has identified from this images. So hopefully it will be identifying text, title, list, table, figure. So it will be identifying from these entities only. So let us run this code and we'll we'll get to know like what we are able to achieve it okay so you can see uh, the model is able to identify the things and it has identified this as a title this as a table so this is what we wanted and they said it has already created this table and now we want to extract uh, the every information from it so for this uh, we're going to be first locate the reason where we want where we have this table and ignore all these extra detection that happened so and this, we just want to focus on this uh, table area so what we're going to do is we're going to be taking the lay, layout parser layout and we're going to passing the table type and just a few lines of code and it will be able to identify that the reason where it is present so if i print it out so you can see that it has printed the coordinates of the reason where it has identified the table and it is printing the text is done because it is not uh, uh, because it is not a table and it is able to identify only the table part and this is the score it has uh, given so it is 97.6 percent confident that this is a table so this is the information lies inside this text block similarly here in this figure we are able to extract the figure from it so whatever the figure we have so it's, it's it is able to identify the figure information from it and then uh, we're going to pass it out uh, the text block so that uh, we can be able to understand or extract the information from it so this piece of line of code will help you to do that and similarly this piece of line of code will help you to extract the information from uh, 
this area or that means it will just help you to focus on this area so it will ignore these area from it so this is what we're going to be doing it and we just print out the result what happens so once this code has uh, finished running then we'll run this code and we'll check out like what are the uh, things it has identified so now you can see it has uh, removed the extra thing which which it was able to extract from from it so initially we had uh, it was detecting uh, this as well and uh, now it is not detecting this so and now it is able to just focus on the table area which we are uh, which we are focusing on so this is how it is done and once the detection has happened we have bounding box information and everything available so for from this we are going to use a tesseract and uh, layout processor has built in tesseract engine so we are using that uh, thing so we just run this piece of code and we'll install the tesseract OCR side by side and we'll be using this uh, tesseract OCR to extract the uh, the text information from this detected uh, region so once the solution is completed we'll use this piece of line of code the simple code to extract the information from it so we'll run this code and the each and every information about the uh, table is being extracted and each of these uh, columns and rows are being extracted and saved in a format so we'll uh, we'll just initiate this uh, for loop and we'll see the content from it so you can see it has extracted the information from the table so this is how the extraction has been done i have not formatted in the form of csv format i have done i have i'm just using a print uh, statement we just print it out and you can use any other things or you can write a simple piece of code to just extract this information which has been stored over here in this uh, test block so you can use this test block dot get text from here you can get the information of all the text and then from here you can uh, from, from from here you can get the uh, uh, right code and uh, you can also mention your own use case and you can derive the information from it and you can print it on the uh, csv file so whatever the information or uh, you want to save it in which format so from here you can get it so i just use a print statement to do this just to show it off that okay it is able to extract the information correctly so hope you enjoyed this video and hope this will help you for your own case scenario and uh, please subscribe the channel thank you